हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल सिविल स्टेप्स सो सिविल स्टेप्स हैज स्टार्टेड वन ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट सीरीज दैट इज फॉर प्रीलिम्स 2022 सो टारगेट प्रीलिम्स 2022 इनिशिएटिव ऑफ सिविल स्टेप्स विल हेल्प स्टूडेंट्स टू कवर द इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक्स ऑफ हिस्ट्री जोग्राफी पॉलिटी इकोनॉमी साइंस environment and current affairs so this target prelims 2022 series has started from 19th of december 2021 and will help you to cover more than 1000 important topics for prelims examinations target prelims 2022 has been designed keeping in mind the dynamic nature of the upsc civil services examinations hence target 2022 focus on overall preparation of a serious civil services aspirant and it will sail you through upsc civil services examination very smoothly okay. we will discuss important questions of polity so the first question is consider the following statements about the chairman of the rajya sabha first he is not a member of the house but he can cast a vote in the case of an equality of votes second when the vice president acts as president or discharges the functions of the president he does not perform the duties of the office of the chairman of rajya sabha so which of the statements given above is or are correct option a one only b two only c both one and two d neither one nor two so you can write down your answer in the comment section below so the correct answer of this question is option c both one and two so statement one is correct because unlike the speaker the chairman is not a member of the house the chairman cannot vote in the first instance however he can cast a vote in the case of an equality of votes hence statement 1 is correct while about second statement during any period when the vice president acts as president or discharges the functions of the president he does not perform the duties of the office of the chairman of rajya sabha hence statement number second is correct so the topic of parliament is very important from upsc prelims exam point of view and especially the topic of speaker also so this is very important also and you can have knowledge about chairman of rajya sabha also and what is the difference between the powers of speaker of lok sabha and chairman of rajya sabha so in this way you can prepare this topic holistically so let us now discuss question number second consider the following statements about the leader of opposition first the office of the leader of the opposition is not mentioned in the constitution of india second they are entitled to the salary allowances and other facilities equivalent to that of a cabinet minister so which of the statements given above is or are correct option a one only b two only c both one and two d neither one nor two so you can write your answer in the comment section the correct answer of this question is option c both one and two so the officers of the leader of the house and the leader of the opposition are not mentioned in the constitution of india they are mentioned in the rules of house and parliamentary statute respectively hence statement number 1 is correct about statement number second they are also entitled to the salary allowances and other facilities equivalent to that of a cabinet minister hence statement number second is correct so this was all about question number second so you should know the leader of of the opposition so in one of his one of its previous years maybe in 2017 or 18 upsc asked one question about leader of opposition so you should know the leader of opposition and uh, what is the qualification to be a leader of opposition is this mentioned in the constitution of india 
so who can become as a leader of opposition likewise you can have knowledge about this topic so this was all about question number second let us discuss question number third consider the following statements regarding the appointment of judges to the supreme court first the judges of the supreme court are appointed by a group of judges called the collegium second a distinguished jurist is eligible to become a judge of the supreme court with the final approval of the president so which of the above statements is or are correct option a one only b two only c both one and two d neither one nor two so the correct answer of this question third is option b two only so according to article 124 sub clause 2 every judge of the supreme court shall be appointed by the president of uh, india by warrant under his seal hence statement number 1 is not correct while about second statement the person should serve as a judge of one high court or more continuously for at least 5 years or the person should be an advocate in the high court for at least 10 years or a distinguished jurist hence statement number second is correct so you should know the judges of supreme court what is the qualification of a supreme court judge uh, and similarly about high court judge as well and what is the original jurisdiction of the supreme court what is the appellate jurisdiction likewise you can prepare about high court also and you should also know the difference between the powers of the supreme court and high courts so let us discuss question number 4 consider the following statements in the context of constitutional amendment bill first it can be introduced in either house of parliament second it can be introduced by a minister only third if it is duly passed by both the houses of parliament the president must give his assent to the bill so which of the statements given above are correct option a 1 2 and 3 b 1 and 3 only c 1 and 2 only d 2 and 3 only so the correct answer of this question is option b 1 and 3 only so an amendment to the constitution can be initiated only by the introduction of a bill for the purpose in either house of parliament and not in the state legislatures hence statement 1 is correct while statement 2 uh, the bill can be introduced either by a minister or by a private member and doesn't require prior permission of the president hence statement 2 is not correct about third statement the president must give his assent to the bill he can neither withhold his assent to the bill nor return the bill for reconsideration of the parliament hence statement 3 is correct so you should know who can introduce which bill so constitutional amendment bill can be introduced by which members of the parliament and who cannot introduce that bill in the house of parliament so likewise you should also know is there any difference in the powers of lok sabha and rajya sabha in case of uh, the presentation of constitutional amendment bill so likewise you can also prepare about other bills like money bills ordinary bills and uh, constitutional amendment bill so likewise you can prepare this topic holistically and you can also have a knowledge about uh, knowledge of the comparison between constitutional amendment bill ordinary bill and uh, money bills so this was all about question number 4 let us now discuss the final question of this video that is question number 5 which of the following qualifications is or are required for a person to be chosen as a member of the state legislative assembly first he must be an elector for any assembly constituency in the concerned state second he must not be less than 30 years of age so select the correct answer using the code given below option a one only b two only c both one and two d neither one nor two 
so you can write down your answer in the comment section the correct answer of this question is option a one only so a person to be elected to the legislative council must be an elector for an assembly constituency in the concerned state and to be qualified for the governor's nomination he must be a resident in the concerned state hence statement number 1 is correct about statement second he must not be less than 30 years of age in the case of the legislative council and not less than 25 years of age in the case of the legislative assembly hence statement number second is not correct so you can have a knowledge about parliament also of this question so likewise you should read about the qualifications uh, that is needed to be a member of the parliament so in this way you can prepare this topic holistically so this was all about today's video you can subscribe the channel and you can also press the bell icon thank you very much thank you very much